do I know that missing indexes are not 100% reliable, but is there a way to determine what query caused the missing index recommendation to be made? Yes! Starting with SQL Server 2019, there's a DMV for that. There's a diagnostic view that you can actually query and we have it built into SP Blitz Index, which is amazing. When you're looking at SP Blitz Index next to each missing re index recommendation, it'll show you a sample query that triggered that missing index recommendation. So check out my how, totally free how to use the first responder kit class to see how to use that feature and then make sure you're on SQL Server 2019 or newer, which is just awesome. That was one of my favorite features. Uh, and then we'll do one more. Let's see. Uh, depth charge. <laughs> depth charge says, hi, Brent. I've been trying to reduce page IO latch weights on a 25 terabyte database. A monitoring tool identified 25 terabytes an hour of logical reads from a command da -da -da -da, worth investigating or should I focus on individual queries? Whenever you're trying to reduce page IO latch weights, what you want to do is focus on what are the queries doing the most reads overall? SP